Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a game-changing way to edit screen recording videos if you do this zooming in animations and if you don't, you definitely should because this is an excellent way to navigate your viewers attention around the portions of the screen. So traditionally in Premiere Pro in order to do it you need to fiddle around with the position and scale properties of the transform effect in order to get to the desired crop, but it's sometimes very hard to do, it's annoying and it can get tedious really really fast and I actually asked this question on Reddit whether there's an easier way to do it in Premiere Pro that I was just not aware of and the short answer is no there isn't. So in this video I will show you that there actually is now because I have actually taken the effort and I have written my own extension for Adobe Premiere Pro and with this extension all you need to do is literally just drag a box around the portion of the frame that you need to zoom into and BAM! You're done. The animation, the keyframes, the motion blur, all the calculations of the scale and position properties are done automatically by the extension. Right, so let's take a look at this example. We have a part of a Photoshop tutorial and what I want to do is I want to zoom into the HSL sliders when I explain what the values of the HSL sliders I'm going to input and then I want to zoom out back to 100% again. So I'm going to do it the traditional way right now. I will speed it up because it would be very boring but look at the timer, how much time it takes me and how tedious it is to zoom into this portion of the frame and then zoom back out again with keyframes, with motion blur, etc. So watch it now. <laughs> that was a lot of work, right? So let's see how to do this exact same thing with my extension, shall we? Okay, so what you need to do in order to prepare to work with this extension, first you need to add an adjustment layer. You need to place this adjustment layer on the top above the clip that you want to zoom into. And then you need to drag the transform effect to this adjustment layer. This is all the preparations that you need. And you can even do it once per video and then just copy this adjustment layer to the other place on your timeline. And then what you need to do is make sure this adjustment layer is selected and then place the playhead in the place where you want to zoom in to happen. Then switch over to the drag zoom extension, click on the refresh and then you will be presented with the frame where your playhead was actually sitting on the timeline. And then literally you can just drag a box around the portion of the frame that you want to zoom into. And you can see while I drag then I have this percentage value inside this red box and this percentage value indicates what will be the output scale of the video once the zooming in is done. Because typically you don't want to zoom in more than like 300% or something like this because every digital zoom is actually causing a loss in resolution. So you want to make sure that you don't zoom in too much so that the stuff is actually readable on your screen, right? And then while you drag, if you need to move the box, you can actually hit the space bar and while the space bar is pressed down, if you drag, you can actually move this box around. And this is a very intuitive way to do it. The same behavior is in Photoshop. If you use a rectangular marquee to select the portion of the screen and also if you want to make, for instance, a screenshot on macOS, also the same behavior applies while you drag and you hit the spacebar to actually move the box in order to get the precise framing that you want. And then you just let go of the mouse and you can see here in the effects control that the extension adds keyframes in the scale and position properties. It also unchecks the use composition shutter angle and inputs the 180 degrees shutter angle. And the last two things are necessary in order to get the nice motion blur while you zoom in. Now all you need to do is just advance the playhead to the moment where you want to zoom out, then hit the refresh again and you can see that the yellow overlay actually now depicts which portion of the frame you are currently zoomed into. And now you can either drag a new box to zoom into another portion of the screen or if you want to zoom out to just 100% you can conveniently just click this button which says zoom out to 100% and then you're basically done. How easy it was, right? Comment down below what you think about this extension. Do you think it's useful for you? Do you think it's not? Please let me know what you think. I will put the link down below, the direct link to this extension where you can just hit one button and install it. All right, that's basically it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave it a thumbs up down below. Also consider subscribing to the channel because there will be more videos like this in the future. I have plans for some more extensions for the Be Premium Pro, so stay tuned. And I usually upload one video per week here on YouTube and I usually cover things you can do with your camera. So filmmaking, photography tutorials, Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, all that stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos but that's it for now have a good day see you next time and bye bye